So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges for week five. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the seasonal challenges plus whatever versus selling. So that way you guys can know what's up. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, let's get into it. So the first one is still standing complete week five of we stand up from broken quest. I haven't done this yet because uh, at one we had a raid. So that's why I haven't completed it yet. But I, I assume it's not hard. It's just do the story. <coughs> Legendary liberator complete a defiant battleground on legend difficulty. This one's going to be annoying if you don't have people to do to run this with. I do, unfortunately, or fortunately, I have people to run this with. So for me, it's not going to be annoying, but I do understand some people's like annoyance with it. Hopefully Bungie makes it matchmaking one day or we, I don't know. I, I really wish we had matchmaking in some activities. Uh, earn favor of justice, grace and zeal during season of defiance activities. Bonus progress awarded for favors earned during activities on legend difficulty. This one's not hard at all. Uh, just continue to play this season of defiance activity activities, it says, but yeah, just just do the battleground. That's what I'm going to be doing. And yeah, it's not hard. Just uh, it's just going to be time consuming, unfortunately. Friendly neighborhood guardian complete a week mission or a weekly mission from Lightfall on hero a hero difficulty or higher. Not hard at all. Just hero difficulty, if I remember correctly, is the base one, like the base uh, matchmaking one. So not hard. Uh, dredging up victory complete gambit matches earn bonus progress for wins not hard at all just play gambit uh i know some people are like that's hard already but for me it's not that hard uh un unraveling the sun defeat guardians and crucible bonus progress is granted for opponents defeated with strand solar and void ability final blows um not hard uh depending on if you like these subclasses i don't think it's gonna be bad because i like void i like solar and i like strand so It'll just take a while, I guess. And then adversaries of humanity, defeat taken and vex bosses in Vanguard playlists or strikes. Um, so I'm assuming you can do this in Nightfalls because that's that's kind of like the vibe it gave me like Vanguard playlists or strikes. So either or that's pretty cool. Not hard at all uh, for Eververse. This is a lot of shaders this is <laughs> stupid emote right there, but Jungle Viper, I'm not the biggest fan of this shader. Actually, let me switch out my armor real quick because this is not going to be a good representation of um, of what's actually available. I ended up getting the final piece for the Hunter, which was the cloak. So I will be, well, I'm waiting for to get the Warlock pieces and then we'll get started on the review for the raid armor. So for Jungle Viper, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I mean, I can see people rocking this and making some cool sets, but me personally, I just don't like green, specifically this color. I do like green. I just like very dark green, like Viridian green and whatnot. Bioloom. This is a really cool color. Unfortunately, the off color is green right here, but if it was just like black right there, I think this would have been really cool. Uh, we have heartbreaking entrance. We have Credence, which is a really cool ornament. Unfortunately, this ivory color on the uh, handle does not change color, so just be aware of that. We have right this way. I don't know this emote. No, I don't care about that. Uh, for the bottom stuff, we have Riven Projection. We have Kara Kare Sanus Kare Sansui Kare Sansui. Should be this should be Japanese, right? Hey, yeah, it looks like this looks like the. Um, the the sand garden thing that um i've seen a lot so that's pretty cool I'm definitely not gonna get it but that's cool i guess uh we got the callisto lancer which is a ship we have all terrain explorer which is a sh uh, vehicle or sparrow we have the celestial shell which is a ghost uh we have the universal ornaments for the class items so if you don't have these definitely pick them up we have disciple judgment which I want to get it, but not for 3000 bright dust like y'all wild in cannon fodder, sterile neutrino effects. We have Dominus gall effects, which is really cool. I actually would advise this one because it gives you a really cool uh, effect. Can't see it here, but it gives you like wings and whatnot. It looks really cool. We have the iridient or or iridient chariot chariot or chariot, whatever. It's fine. Like, I don't hate it, but I definitely will never wear it. We have Wayfarer's Guys, which is. I think this is a better green than the one uh, the one that was up there, but I still wouldn't wear this. 
We have oiled gunmetal. This is a good shader, a pretty good black shader if you want to go for that. But it's a really good shader for your weapons as well, just because it, it does give you like an all black look and it looks really cool. And then we have vibrant beach. I hate this shader. It's not my I, like I hate this shader. It's the yellow. Honestly, if, it, if the yellow is a little bit more surprisingly vibrant, then I think it would be fine. But like it's just like this like Gaka yellow. I don't know. It's hard to explain. But that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I am excited for this week because I not only do not work that many days, but I am also going to be doing a lot of content for you guys like a gross amount. I have a lot of videos that I'm either going to be working on today or rendering today. Uh, it's right here. All right. So the legend lost sector is the Aphelion's rest. Aphelion, Aphelion. Uh, Felian's Rest for the exotic chest armor. So if you guys are looking for an exotic chest armor, definitely check that out. What is the Nightfall this week? Let me see. Oh, it's the Glassway? Gross. Uh, that's a good one, though, because uh, you can just run the Glassway for Vex stuff. So that's pretty cool. There's a Vex and Taken, I think. So for the Vex, you definitely want to do this one. And then for the Taken, I think you would just go to the Vanguard Ops and just wait for one that has Taken. And then just kill a fuck ton of Taken. And or just go to the Dreaming City. Um, cause I think it actually does count these right here. Like if you activate this one, I think it does count, but I don't, I don't know. I'll definitely test it out later, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys want to see a specific video and or something like that. I'll definitely try to get started on it. And if not, I will let you know otherwise, but be safe and I'll see you guys later.